everyone, welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things dinosaurs. Today I'm going to be telling you about a very unusual dinosaur that actually wasn't a dinosaur at all. It's called the Achinosaurus, and it has a very interesting story behind it. Achinosaurus was first discovered in 1888 by Gerard Smet, a Belgian scientist and priest who found some fossilized fragments in a quarry near the town of Aachen, which is now on the border between Belgium and Germany. He thought he had found a new species of hadrosaur, which are also known as the duck-billed dinosaurs. He named it Achinosaurus multidens, meaning Aiken lizard with many teeth. He was very proud of his discovery and published a paper describing it. He even made some drawings of what he thought the dinosaur looked like. He imagined it as a four-legged herbivore with a long snout and rows of teeth for trimming plants. He also speculated that it might have had some spines on his back for dispense or display. However, his excitement was short-lived. Soon after his paper came out, another Belgian paleontologist named Louis Dallo visited the quarry and examined the fossils. He quickly realized that Smets had made a huge mistake. The fossils were not bones at all, but pieces of petrified wood. Dallo published his own paper exposing Smets's error and showing that the fossils were actually parts of an ancient plant. Smets was very embarrassed and tried to defend his original identification, but he was proven wrong again by a neutral commission of experts. He eventually admitted his mistake and withdrew from science. He never published anything again. So what was the plant that Smets mistook for a dinosaur? Well, it turns out it was a type of plant that lived in the late Cretaceous period. It was named Niccolo Aegyptica by Unger in 1842, based on fossils found in Egypt. The plant had a woody stem and branches with leaves and flowers. It probably grew in wet and swampy areas. The wood of Nicolia has a distinctive cross-section pattern that shows the growth rings and the vascular tissue of the plant. This pattern is what Smets thought were the teeth marks of the dinosaur jaw. He also misinterpreted some cracks and holes on the wood as nostrils and eye sockets. So there you have it. The story of Achinosaurus, the dinosaur that never was. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more dinosaur videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.